How's it going guys? This is Najam. Welcome back to another video. Now in this video I'm going to show you a brand new window manager that I've been using. This window manager is a scrolling window manager and this called Neri. Neri is a scrolling window manager which means you can have unlimited windows on one workspace. As you can see I've got a lot of windows open. Now for the most part I've been using the Sway window manager and it's a really nice window manager. In fact, you don't have to install Neri to experience scrolling window managers. You can actually get plugins for different desktop environments as well as window managers to add the functionality. So as you can see over here, you can get Paper WM for the GNOME shell. You can also get Carousel for KDE as well as Paper Sway for Sway window manager. And you can also get a plugin for Hyperland and also there's something for macOS as well. Now the reason I didn't go for the plugin is because I want to keep Sway separate. Now for those starting out, what's really cool about Neri is that you don't have to open it up to experience it. You can actually install the window manager through the repos and you can go ahead and open it up in a terminal. So I'll just go ahead and open that up. You just run the command Neri and it opens up in a window and it opens up all the stuff that's programmed to open up on in the configuration file and you can use and experience Neri within a window in your desktop environment before jumping into it you can experience it you can even change the configuration file while you're using it so that's really really cool this does have multiple workspaces so i can go ahead and press two and go into the second workspace and then three and then four and so on instead of workspaces you can also have unlimited windows as you can see it just keeps going i've got loads of windows open on one workspace and i can just keep shuffling between them and same thing with this i can shuffle between the windows on one workspace now this will use more cpu power and everything because you've got so many windows open active at the same time so it does use more power temperature does go higher compared to sway Okay, let's go ahead and show you how Neri works. I'll go ahead and open up a whole bunch of file managers. And as you can see, it opens up in a column. And it opens up, and you can change the configuration. You can change so much. I'll briefly go over the configuration. So go into Neri. I have a separate way back configuration for Neri, which is down here. Now, I'm just going to quickly jump over the configuration. So I've got my stuff to start up. Um, the Polkit daemon thing. Uh, Weba is starting up with its own configuration to now file manager and the stuff that I need. And I've got a shell script just running this, which is to change the wallpaper, otherwise, it doesn't work. You can change the cursor, you can change the inputs on the keyboard. So I've just enabled different layout because I have a GB keyboard, and you can change the options for the touchpad as well as the mouse and the track point. And this works really well with touch screen devices as well as tra um, touchpads. It has gesture controls so i'll go ahead and show you that you can use the touchpad and you can use three fingers to scroll all the way around and you can also go up and down to different workspaces you have the follow mouse which means uh, whenever the mouse goes it focuses the pin onto the window you can change how much of it does you have the output which is the same as sway and i plan to just configure that tiny little bit differently you have the name of the monitor, the resolution, the scaling, the transform. You can flip it around and all. And you can change the position. I think you can change a couple other things as well. You have layout configuration and options over here. Uh, you can have center the focus window always. And this will always keep the focused window on the center of the screen like it is right now. Alternatively, you can, instead of doing that, you can press super key and C. And that will center it. You can have different presets, uh, so each window will open, or you can resize it with presets. So each window will resize to 50% or 33% or 66% uh, of the screen. And you can actually take that off as well. So the default right now is 333, which means in one, in the whole screen, I can have three windows. And you can change that if you want. You can have smaller windows opening up. I've got this size set up because it works really well for me. You can also just take that off and that way leave the bracket empty the windows will decide themselves the width of whatever that's opening um that works really well as well now let's talk about um focus ring focus ring and border are very similar they work one way 
so you can't use both of them at the same time so right now i've got border on and you can see the blue border around the window i can go ahead and change the width and you can see the window size changes now i'll go ahead and turn that off we'll turn on focus ring focus ring is basically the border but it's outside of the window so uh, how am i going to gaps on i'll go ahead and turn them on this does have gaps now focus ring is outside of the window it just sort of outlines the window but it won't change the size of the window so that's really cool if you want that it goes outside the window you can change the color the active color and also the inactive color and you can also put a gradient on same thing with the border and you can change the gradient so i've got the gradient from going from white the way down to black and you also have a gradient for the inactive windows i prefer using a solid color so i'm gonna keep that off now you do have gaps as well and so this is simple straightforward you have gaps between the windows and you also have struts now struts i've got enabled only on the left and the right side and this is basically the space on the left and the right side of the windows in the workspace so this allows me to see the window on the left and the right side and then i can use the mouse to focus onto it and it will scroll sideways you can take these off these do give you less workspace if you use them and you'll have the windows maximized you can also have them at the bottom and also at the top so you can have empty space or white space at the top and at the bottom of the workspace if that's something that you're into you can go ahead and do that and with the struts on it does look very very nice and very elegant personally i do prefer more workspace so i've got my gaps disabled and struts on only on the side of the displays and this gives me just more workspace to work with it also has a built-in screenshot tool i believe it's built in you can press the screenshot and you can just go ahead and select where you want which bit you want to take a screenshot of and then it will work that way you also got animations as you probably notice i'm scrolling through and you can see the animations and you can change the speed of the animation you can slow them down or speed them up now there are some options in the animations that you can change you can go ahead and change um, the width of stuff and the windows closing time movement you can change the animation types as well as um, close and you can put curves on and a whole bunch of things so animations it does have animations it's more closer to hyperland than it is to survey window manager you do also have window rules so you can have certain options like opening a window in full screen on, on boot and all that kind of stuff and there's so many to go into you also have i believe if i go ahead and turn gaps on you could you also have rounded corners which a lot of people on sway do want but this does have it and so it doesn't have so you've got rounded corners on um, on this on the windows now it does take more cpu power and resource power and gpu power so i've left it off i believe for me this works much much faster and i do prefer a faster desktop experience another cool feature is the hotkeys show up uh, on the boot and this changes depending on what you've put in the configuration file so i've got my bindings over here and this normally shows up every time you turn on needy but you can actually in the configuration configuration file skip that let's talk about the bindings you can bind the keys to, to certain actions that's a shell script and you've got obviously the bindings for the volume up and down as well as the brightness and you've got the um, bindings for choosing the workspaces as well as windows and everything and that's quite a lot to go through and also the workspaces and whole bunch of things i'll go over just the bits that i use so you can actually resize the windows vertically as well as horizontally you can also move the windows remove the mouse swap the windows about uh, go to different workspaces using the keyboard uh, switch windows move them about you can also jump to the end and also jump to the beginning of the whole window column stack and you can go ahead and group the windows or stack them together um, and then you can go ahead and stack more more together if you want that works you can also move them from one workspace to another workspace so for example 
I'll move this down here. And if I want to move it back up, you can see that it moves. You can also center the window by pressing the C and you can change the bindings for this. So if you do want something in the middle, you can get the windows in the middle. So working wise and control wise, it's very, very cool. It's very quick and very easy to use and it's very simple. You also have obviously the screenshot tool and the screenshot, I believe that is actually built in. And you can also go ahead and exit, just like on Sway, this will exit the window manager and break everything, um, just turn everything off. So we don't want to do that because we're running OBS recording. Now I've mapped my scrolling to the mouse wheel so I can just go through the whole workspace really, really quickly. Um, and you can change the bindings and everything the way you want to make it work for you. It works really, really well. Now, as you can see, these two windows are stacked on top of one another. They're in one column and I can move the whole column, column of windows to a different workspace. And that's really cool. Now let's talk about X Wayland. Now X Wayland doesn't work inside of Needy. It's officially not supported. Um, this means um, anything that requires X Wayland doesn't work. But I'm going to show you how to get, get it to work. You can use um, X Wayland Satellite, which is a new project that blah 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 you can read this if you want but basically x11 is very close it's not going to be used at the moment inside of niri and swear and as well as hyperland have this option uh x wayland enabled by default and it just works however that's not the case with niri because uh, well as you can see uh it doesn't work for example if i go ahead and open up steam it's going to say there's nothing on the X server display that's not running, so we're not going to work. This means you can't by default game on this uh, window manager, but I've got a really cool solution. So this is Tuxedo Control Center, and this doesn't wor work with um, without X Wayland. And I've got it running inside a window, which is basically a window of X11. So this is X11 running inside of a window, and I've got Openbox running in it. And basically, in other words, it's a window manager inside a window manager. So to get this to work, uh, you need to put in, you need to open up a terminal. I've got this en enabled on boot, so it happens. Uh, you need to run this command. And you can type in a number for the display that you want. So a number for this, so this is going to be display number 12, that is. And then from there, you can go ahead and do display and then whatever you want to open so what i'm going to do now is i'm actually going to resize this so it's a bit bigger and i'm going to actually go ahead and open up steam inside that and so steam opens up and if you want other applications they will open up now i have open box running that will allow me to move the windows about without open box that doesn't happen and that doesn't work so it's very annoying but with openbox that does work and that's why i've got openbox running and you can also full screen the windows and resize them so that's pretty cool and so when it comes to gaming by default of course it doesn't work but you can make it work and the other applications that don't usually work they work inside of this window and so i've gone ahead and opened up steam you can change the window resize and move it about and you can go ahead and open up a game and this is how gaming works on it um it works really really well actually the only thing is with open box on the window you can't get rid of the top bar i'm sure there's a way to configure it i just haven't really done anything about configuring that um but it works really really well for me um obviously it's not designed for gaming and while you can't game on it i'm not going to recommend it for gaming but it does work really really well and you know there's no doubt that it does so technically yes you can do gaming on needy window manager with this, this scrolling effect which is cool and i really like that now another thing is you have full screen windows for example as you can see i'm running the video editor over here and you can have windows on the side and you can just focus onto the windows if i go ahead and open up the export thingy jig you can see it just opens up on the side and then you can continue editing and then you can jump to it and then export the video and that's really cool 
same thing with renaming a file you can go ahead and rename it it will open up on the side by default when you full screen a window what it does is it just changes the size to fit the whole screen and if that's not something that you want you can change that in the configuration and you can change that in the bindings but you it does have the option to actually actually full screen the window now what's really cool is while the window is full screened you can still scroll about and you can have two windows so this one is full screen and this one is not and as you can see i can go ahead and resize this a bit so you can see a full screen window that's going to be completely filling the screen i can do the same on this video this is a video and you can see i can have a full screen window and i can have some notes on the side and it works really really well it has some really cool features which i do like and so it's very nice and with the effects and everything with the way that this has been working this is going to be my window manager from now on and it does take a little bit of setting up there are some things that work a bit differently but at the end you do get the scrolling window manager experience and that in my opinion is just very very nice so let me know in the comments which window manager you're using if you like the scrolling window manager then give this a shot i think it's probably the easiest way to get into it if you want to have a separate window manager rather than getting a plugin um, if you do have any questions ask me in the comment section below thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in another video